if somebody have a big arm, he must using steroids. But you, but you, you must be using steroids off season. Not really. We are drug tested like everybody else. Are you telling me that you've never done steroids? What's up guys, Derek from MarePlaySmartAids.com. Today we're going to be reacting to Marcus Rule's interview from a long fucking time ago. This is back when the IFBB had a very clean image. It was not trying to portray their fucking brontosaurus bodybuilders as steroid using individuals and rather as clean athletes and uh, you know a very prideful sport with uh, you know the utmost priority on health because this is the fitness industry after all and basically trying to get athletes to hide their use you know because you know what better way to uh, you know portray the sport than to pretend and just sweep under the rug the thing that people suspect and most people know but you know just basically lie on camera. Now, when you circle back to this shit and you look at athletes who are just like lying on camera, the question is, can you really blame them given the circumstances imposed on them during the time of this shit? You know, that's the thing that I would like to present as we kind of review this. When I have to count the calories, I have to count the carbohydrates, the protein. That's the way how you can make improvements if you change something that brings you to the end of the result when you're going on stage. Are you always hungry? Not really, but it's a part of the job. Like you did, when you're tired, we have to go to job because it's your thing. What's funny is, by the way, totally irrelevant, but while I was watching this, just seeing some of these like old school whey protein drugs, like these, this reminds me of this, like I used to literally work at a supplement store where we didn't even have a chair. So I would sit on a fucking like five, I would stack up like two five pounders of like quick mass. Was it, did they come in 10 pounds? I don't remember. Cause I used to get, I used to get 15 pound bags of mutant mass. But the biggest containers of quick mass, I think, were either five or 10 pounds. I don't know. I used to sit on like two of those as like my seat in the fucking supplement store I worked at. And, uh, but like those, some of those weight gainers, dude, the mutant mass ones were not that tasty. But the quick mass cookies and cream, bro, just like thinking of that or the, um, there was this one, it was like a, it was like kind of like a hybrid of a weight gainer and like a cleaner protein shake. It was like a cyto cyto gainer or cyto mass or something and it was kind of like what i called like a a hybrid gainer it was like or like a lean weight gainer it was like like 540 calories per full serving for like your 50 grams of protein rather than a, a weight gainer was like a thousand calories per 50 grams of protein and then obviously like normal protein shake that's like lean and clean would be like 240 to you know 260 calories for 50 grams of protein but dude, like some of the, the cookies and cream quick mass or the cookies and cream like Cytogain or whatever, I was like, just seeing these old school tubs, I was starting to, I was starting to get cravings. Dude, like that shit was fucking actually good back in the day. When I'm hungry or not hungry, it doesn't matter. I have to eat. But how about the, the classic question that people would ask? How yeah. about, what about steroids? Um, steroid is a very difficult team in the sport. So this reporter, is no holds barred. He's going for fucking gold. He's going balls deep on Marcus roll here and he doesn't give a fuck how uncomfortable it is. He wants answers. Because I would say something. In bodybuilding, we get all drug tested because we want to have this sport very illegal and we want to have a clean sport. So he says, we want, we want, you know, he's obviously talking in regards to, uh, presumably the weeders want to have a more, uh, like I imagine their strategy at the time, and I'm just speculating because it's not like you know, how fucking you know old was I when this clip actually came out. Like you know, this is a long time ago, but and things have obviously changed. Where you know, top pros are now very outspoken about their use. It's a very, very uh, forward-thinking subject now, where people are actually you know presenting harm reduction strategies around the topic. People are very out in the open about you know, realistic expectations around bodybuilding and, you know, is it a healthy endeavor? And, you know, there's a lot more education around the topic now, whereas back then, you know, you're basically just playing fucking, you know, you're basically a puppet of the fucking IFBB essentially. And, you know, rule has to skate or circle around these goddamn questions. Like a fuck. <laughs> he has to just like perfectly maneuver this conversation in a way where it's not like he's super dodgy, but it's also that, he is not answering the question directly. So he's trying to say, 
And presumably, again, circling back to the weeders, I imagine at this time, like trying to get bodybuilding to go mainstream, I imagine the mindset was that talking about drugs is not conducive to pushing the shit into the mainstream. So let's shove it down this conversation as deep down as we can and never have it come up, have, you know, drug testing enforced when we're testing for fucking what, like diuretics or whatever it was, um, and make it seem like a clean thing. So then we can, you know, pick up some steam and get a bit more mainstream. But then you have the athletes and in interviews that are being bombed and they're just like having to present this fucking disaster of a, you know, of a uh, narrative to the public. And it's just, it comes across as just very, very cringy, unfortunately. The thing is, not all the people have an out of knowledge about bodybuilding. So they mean, if somebody have a big arm, he must use steroids. But you, but you, you must be using steroids off season. <laughs> so like trying to deflect, you know, we do the drug testing, you see a big arm, you assume steroids, just like, you know, trying to finagle his way out of this. And this guy's just like, no, shut the fuck up. Tell me you steroids in the off season. Not really. We are drug tested like anybody else. Are you telling me that you've never done steroids? Like, not really. We're drug tested. Marcus Rule, shut the fuck up. Tell me you've done gear. You're on fucking camera. I'm going to get this shit before I leave. I never tell you. You tell you ask me the question <laughs> if I'm using steroids in the moment or not. We are all drug tested. Okay, because we are a member of the Federation of the IFAB and we get all contracts that we are drug tested. Good for him for keeping his cool. Fuck. It's like, all right, calm down, Marcus. Imagine being on like a fucking boatload of trend, hella test, hella shit, and you're sitting there and you're like this fucking goof. He will not leave until I say it takes steroids. And we get tested and if we, we get out of the IFAB. But is it possible to look like this without having never done steroids? Is it it's like about to spontaneously combust. Never done steroids. <laughs> Is it possible to drive to Tour de France without steroids? Is it possible to walk around 90 minutes on the soccer field without using something? Probably not. <laughs> that's the answer. So that's his way of answering the question. That's about as good as you're going to get. What is the difference between uh, men competing in being like this and girls anorexic going to states competing who is the thinnest? So yeah, like you can just tell how old this shit is based on the fucking tubs in the background as well as Marcus is, you know, long retired now. Um, fucking brontosaurus of a human though. The guy had a crazy physique. Um, one of the freak show mass monsters of the 90s. And I think he got robbed at some shows, to be honest. Like, there was some showings where he blatantly, like, beat some fucking big names. And I think he got robbed a few times. Now, he didn't have the structure, really, to, like, win the whole thing often. You know, go take the Olympia crown. But there was some, like, oddball pro shows where he'd actually show up and, like, make guys at the top look fucking small in some cases. Like, it's crazy. And he was, uh had one of the best like workout compilations too. Like if you go watch old Marcus rule footage, it'd be like him just like burping and fucking farting in the gym, not giving a fuck. He'd have like the best grocery store footage too. Like, you know, the, uh, when you're, when you're, uh, you know, a teenager, you're getting motivated for bodybuilding. You just watch like Jay Cutler going to Costco and like fucking Coleman, just like throwing goddamn chicken breasts in their cart, dragging a gym bag around. Like Jay would have like the super long bag with a handle that was like, he would drag his gym bag. He would never fucking carry it, like pick it up off the ground. He would just like drag it everywhere. Um, and then you'd have the famous, you know, Costco trips and you would have, uh, you know, just, just watch, you literally just like eat your meal, watching guys throw in like fucking 72 slabs of chicken breast into their cart and then leave. But Rule had some of the best, you know, grocery store footages of all time. Cause he'd show up in like a cutoff and just look like an absolute goddamn freak show in the grocery store lineups and people you just see the reactions of people as he's standing there and it was just like awe-inspiring shit and he didn't give a fuck you know he would stand there and like absorb all the attention him and his like jacked wife and uh in the gym he would just fart his fucking ass off he wouldn't even care so the guy didn't uh he's a pretty uh funny guy he's pretty uh open with his like i don't know he's like his personality shines through where a lot of bodybuilders to be honest or fucking dull as hell, you know? They just, you know, eat, they sleep, they take drugs, and they do not really have a lot of substance to their persona, whereas Marcus Rule definitely was a fucking funny individual. And um, 
I thought it was interesting because it's like this kind of shit will randomly just pop up on your recommended feed once in a while. It's like gold, dude. Like you don't find this shit anywhere, but it's just some old school footage. You know, this is the kind of shit they had to deal with and have to, you know, skirt around. Like nowadays, you have actual like top tier bodybuilders like doing podcasts, talking about what they're taking and shit very openly, you know, advising, you know, how to check, you know, diagnostics, how to, you know, get high quality organ imaging done. Stuff like that. And here you have fucking rules standing at like some expo in front of some old school jugs of protein, getting grilled by some random reporter trying to get him to admit he takes gear. Like that's how far we've come. So I guess in that sense, bodybuilding has definitely come a long way. And it's great to see that there's more information around the subject. And uh, I don't know, just fucking mind boggling to see some of this shit back in the day. And this is uh, sort of nostalgic <laughs> to be honest, because it's like, this is the kind of stuff you would watch like as a kid and get like motivated to start bodybuilding as dumb as that sounds watching some brontosaurus guy talk about you know fucking eating and taking you know protein and shit like that but um yeah i was a big fan of rule back in the day and it was cool to see this pop up so let me know what you guys think do you think these guys should have just told the truth you know when they're being put on the spot like that or is it you know you have to keep in mind they're basically like forced into a situation where if they talk they're gonna get fucking kicked out so it's like what do you do at that point? Would you still, you know, tell the truth to the camera? Or would you just, you know, tell it like it is? I guess Lee Priest did, and he didn't get, well, I guess politically he may have got fucked. So actually, yeah, maybe it worked against him. So maybe they definitely were going out of their way to definitely ostracize and, you know, punish people who were being outspoken. Like Lee was the only one of all of the pros in the, uh, you know, the Tom Platt Secret of the Pros videos. And by the way, if you haven't watched those videos, I highly recommend you watch them. I did like fucking six reaction videos or something to like hour-long interviews of Tom Platts with top pros, Olympia caliber pros in the 90s talking about their drug use or their purported drug use. Um, and everyone wanted to stay anonymous and have their voices altered and their faces blurred out, except for Lee Priest. He's just sitting there on a fucking chair talking about his shit as he's actively competing during a time when this shit is going on, where you have Marcus Rule talking about how you're being drug tested and he's fucking natty basically. And Lee Priest is sitting on camera with Tom Platts talking about how much fucking nandrolone he uses. Like that's the disparity <laughs> in some of the athletes in this league. So I don't think that necessarily reflects horribly on rule though, given the context, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. All the comments help the algorithm. They're much appreciated. Like, subscribe, check out my blog. Moreplacemoredates.com. Follow me on Instagram, at moreplacemoredates. Facebook, Snapchat. Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below my TRT clinic. It's all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home, Gorilla Mind, nootropic formulas, Gorilla Mode, pre-workout formulas. I designed myself from scratch, recommended lab tests and diagnostics, um, recommended diet model for gaining muscle, sports performance, um, and anything else that I am associated with that helps support the channel. It is all in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.